All right, so this time we're going to look at another app called Bible Hub. And we all know Bible Hub because we probably use it quite often on our laptops. But here we have it on our phones as well. So let's click on it here on the bottom with the blue cross. When you open up Bible Hub, it will give you all these choices here. Bible, commentary, sermons, topics, devotions, interlinear, and... Um, so let's get started. I'm going to click on the Bible. And it appears that the default is John 3. So I'm going to change that to Isaiah because that's what I'm studying. And you'll find that when you pick uh, an Old Testament and book to study, you really need a lot of help because there is so much history involved. So I'm going to scroll to Isaiah 9 you can see on the bottom chapter uh, Isaiah chapter 9 and I've been playing around with this so let me show you what the buttons do the blue line uh, right under Bible Hub is, are the different translations and the line below it is a little bit more interesting so when I click on PAR it will give me a parallel of these various versions all right now nlt oh, no, i'm sorry ser is sermon and it's really cool because we can listen to teachings <clears throat> on the various um from various authors on this chapter so you can see here listed this is a great one top is topics and it will literally list the people involved, the places, and then the topics it addresses, and an outline, and so forth. Amazing to have these, um, this kind of reference at your fingertips. All right. And uh, when I go back, I want to show you that that it goes back to John 3. So I have to put it back. Maybe there's a way that I can change that it does not load the default. I'll have to look into that in settings. But for now, I want to show you that this button, looking at Isaiah 9 on the top, and then the word Bible, if you click on the drop down menu, it will give you a shortcut to many of these links here. So Bible, the parallel, cross-reference, which is super cool. Um, what is this? I can't remember. T-S-K. Oh, Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. You hear another kind of cross-section um, dealing with that time frame that is recorded in other parts of the Bible. Really, really tremendous here, especially when we're talking about the kings and uh, what was current at their time and the wars that had been going on. So these things really help us a lot. All right, um, let's see the last one. Let's see, oh, and um, let's see if I have a, so here we have quick links to um, some choices here, but what I really want to go to is commentary. Am I in commentary? All right, here we go. And here we see all these shortcuts to various commentators, or you can read through them. And this was really helpful for me. As you see, the, the first um, verse in chapter 9 of Isaiah mentions three cities Zebulun Naphtali and uh, Zebulun and Naphtali I'm sorry two cities and I never understood the significance and maybe I didn't even want to know what the significance was in previous readings but as I'm reading through slowly and I've looked up commentary and um, just the historical um, emphasis that in those cities, I found out that these two cities bore the brunt of the Assyrian um, 
war when they came in and to take over Israel. And here the Lord is going to appear there first and does his first miracles as in the at the wedding of Cana. So Cana, so we, ha- we have here um, just an amazing example that God not only knows everything, but he never forgets. And he knows these cities suffered greatly. And now a great comfort is coming. So this is an amazing way to uh, quickly do Bible study, maybe on the road or uh, when you're out, you know, traveling. Uh, You happen to be in Italy, 